Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. This is just a short clip, inshallah ta'ala, ikhwan, to uh, just review what we covered in the last sitting. Uh, I know that some of these uh, points were a bit unclear to some of you, so I'll just touch on one of the two points, or one of the, the points that the author mentioned, in the hope that it will become a bit clearer. Tayyib, the author, rahimahullah ta'ala, spoke about al-am, that which is general. And he gave us uh, three points. So he said Al-Am and he gave us the definition of it, the Ta'rif. Then he also gave us the different Siyag, the different forms of Am. And he also gave us a last point before he closed the section, which was Al-Amal Bil-Am, acting upon it. And he said, with regards to the definition, uh, it is a word that encompasses and applies to all without restriction uh, This is slightly different from what he said, but it is a word am it is a pronunciation that applies or that encompasses and Applies to all without restriction with regards to the forms the author mentioned seven forms which we benefit from them nastafid um, minha uh, We understand from them the am so from them, from those forms, I'm not going to mention all, but a word that in and of itself indicates am, like if you say every, kul, would indicate am. Or if you have uh, a nakira in the construct or the context of uh, nafi or nahi, you have something which is nakira in that context, then it would indicate uh, <coughs> it would indicate am. And then he finished off by speaking about acting upon the am. And he, what we understood from that was that he said, or he mentioned that we must act upon the general. When we find something that is am, is to be acted upon it, is to be acted upon it, unless a researcher, a sheikh, a mufti, identifies a reason that that thing is not am. So there's a reason for it not being am. And he spoke about that and gave the example of the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam about uh, uh, it is not from bir to fast whilst traveling, and he had the discussion there. You can return back to it, bi idnillahi taala. But I want to focus on one of these things in short, in, to try and make it clear, inshallah. So uh, he mentioned al am, and we spoke about the definition. So imagine we had a class of ten students. These are ten students in our class, and uh, one day the principal gives a uh, a command to the teacher he says to the teacher no student shall be given detention no student shall be given detention then this if we look at those 10 students then this would apply to all of them it encompasses all of them i.e because they are all students it encompasses all of them and it also applies to all of them without any restriction so in order to, for the teacher to fulfill this command by the principal, he wouldn't be able to give the attention to any one of them. So it encompasses them and it applies to all of them. And here, if we were to translate it backwards into Arabic, um, the word student would be the nakira, and this would be in a context of uh, negation or prohibition. So this would be considered am. As you can see, all of them are highlighted blue and it would apply to all of them. Now, in contrast to that, if we were to say, or if the principal was to say to the teacher, be, be extra generous to a student, be extra generous to a student, then this would not be am. As we see, out of the 10 students, the teacher could pick one or the teacher would pick one and be extra generous to him. So it, it, this statement here by the principal, it encompasses all the students, i.e. the teacher has the ability to pick any of those 10. It encompasses all of them, but it does not apply to all of them. Rather, the teacher can only be extra generous to a student. And this is not am, this is called uh, something which is mutlaq. It is left unrestricted. So if we look at the next slide, you see that the teacher could pick, instead of picking the previous student that was in the previous slide, he could pick this one, number number nine. And he would still, the teacher would still have fulfilled the, t the principal's command to be extra generous to a student. So this is uh, called 
this is not am because it does not apply to all of the students so am encompasses yashmalu all of the students were uh, and it uh, applies to all of them whereas uh, this situation here it encompasses it is shumuli to all of the students it encompasses all of them i.e they all have the chance the teacher can pick any of them but it is called from the angle of badal from the angle of exchange the teacher could pick this student to be good to or he could pick this student to be good to and he would have still fulfilled the command of the principle so am is that this the, that the word encompasses all of those things mentioned and it applies to all of them without any restriction inshallah ta'ala in the in the session that's coming up we're going to speak about some restrictions that how restrictions come to something that is am may allah subhanahu ta'ala give us tawfiq subhanakallahumma bihamdika shallallahu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik